Hey, listen. Goal setting is one of the most powerful techniques that is freely available for anyone to use to achieve real results and create greater success in life. But there's a huge problem. Most people have no idea how to set goals. And you know what? They ended up setting the wrong goals. They set goals that don't work. And this is the reason why so many people fail to accomplish what they want. Whether it is a professional goal or a personal goal, you need to follow the right framework in setting goals. And in this video, I'm going to share with you how to set goals and create an action plan using this one very simple technique. Hey, this is Sean from stunningmotivation.com. If you are new to this channel, hit the subscribe button right now. This way, you will discover more personal development videos that will help you achieve greater success in life. So, are you ready to discover how to set goals the right way? Let's get started. I first learned about this technique from this book, The Four Disciplines of Execution. It is a great book and I strongly suggest everyone who wants to learn more about setting and achieving goals read this book. This technique is called the lead and lag measure. You see, when it comes to setting a goal, there are always two kinds of measures. The first one is the lead measure and another one is the lag measure. Allow me to explain. The goals that most people set, such as to lose 10 pounds in 30 days, to earn a million dollars in a year, to increase sales by 50%, to publish a book, and so on and so forth, are all lag measure driven goals. They are called lags because by the time you see them, the performance that drove them is already past. You can't do anything to fix them. They are history. On the contrary, there is another kind of measure called the lead measure. They are goals such as how much calorie intake in a day, how many hours of exercise you did, how many words you have written for your book, how many articles you publish on your blog, the number of videos on your YouTube channel, the number of prospecting calls, etc. If you notice, lead measures predict the success of lag measures and you can directly influence them. Let me give you an example. Think about losing weight. If your goal is to get back in shape, here's how most people will do it. They will come out with a lag measure goal, something like, I want to lose 10 pounds in a month. You have to understand a couple of things here. First, the goal to lose 10 pounds in a month is a lag measure goal, meaning it is not something actionable and not something influenceable by you. And by the time when you stand on the weighing machine, by the end of the month, when you look at the scale, it is already too late. You cannot, you cannot do anything about it to make a change. And that, that is why it is called a lag measure goal. And that's how most people approach goal setting. They set their goals using lag measures and then they don't have a plan for how to achieve them. Never let this happen to you. Instead, you should act on the lead measure. And the lead measures for your weight loss goal could be something like the amount of calorie intake every day, the hours you spend exercising in the gym, and so on. If you look at these two lead measures, you will notice that you can control how much calorie you consume in a day because you can choose what you put into your mouth, right? And you can also control how many hours you are going to spend working out in the gym. And when you work on these two lead measures, you will automatically move yourself to reaching your lag measure goal, which is to lose 10 pounds in a month. Do you see how the lead and lag measure work here? Take a look at this picture. This is how you should set your goal. Lag measures are uncontrollable and unpredictable. On the other hand, Lead measures are predictive and influenceable, meaning you can work on them. Losing weight is a lag measure. The lead measure for losing weight is diet and exercise because you can control what you eat and how much you exercise. To increase sales is a lag measure. And the lead measure is the number of prospecting calls and sales presentations you deliver. You cannot work on increasing the sale, but you can work on increasing the number of prospecting calls so that you will get more chance to deliver your sales presentation. And similarly, you can also work on improving your sales presentation so that your conversion rate 
will be higher. Can you see how things work here? Lag measures are the ultimate results, the goals and the targets you want to achieve. Lead measures, on the other hand, are the actionable steps that will get you to your goals. So here's how you should set your goals. First, you should identify your lag measure goal. Although lag measure is not influenceable and you cannot act on it, but it is still important. And once you have identified your lag measure goal, it is time for you to create an action plan using the lead measures. You need to ask yourself, what are the action steps you need to take so that you will progress and reach your goals? For example, let's start with a lag measure goal of building a blog that receives 1,000 visits per day. This is a classic blogging goal for most bloggers, but this is a lag measure and it's not it is not actionable. You need to create a plan and come up with the lead measures. So what are the lead measures in this case? The lead measures should be something where you can execute and work on. For instance, write a 2000 words article and publish it every Tuesday and Thursday. Repurpose one article and turn it into a YouTube video and upload it to YouTube channel every Friday. Write a 1000 words article and publish it on medium.com every Wednesday. Read and leave at least 5 comments on other blogs on Monday. Submit a guest article to other bloggers in a, the similar niche every week. Now, these are the lead measures you should focus on and execute. If you work on these lead measures, you will automatically move toward reaching your lag measure goal, which is to build a blog that receives 1000 visits every day. Do you get it now? Can you see how you can set goals and make an action plan using the lead and lag measure principle? Lag measures focus on the results, while lead measure focus on the progress. The problem with most people is that they only have lag measures and they don't have any lead measures to focus on. Once you understand this principle, it allows you to create an actionable plan that tells you exactly what you need to do to achieve what you want in your life. You want to set yourself up to win, right? You want to give specific instructions to your mind so that you know what you need to do to get the results you want. And having both lag and lead measures will give you an advantage in achieving the success you want in your life. So I hope this video has been helpful. If you like this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel. Support this channel so that you will receive more valuable videos about success and personal growth. And before you go, I just want to let you know that you can download a free guidebook called The 1991 Rule and use the rule to help you achieve anything you want in life in just 90 days. Just go to freesuccessguide.com and you can get the guide for free. Thank you for watching. See ya.